We're going to turn now to one of the newest members of the Marvel Universe, Lauren Ridloff, is a Tony-nominated actress now starring in The Eternals. Take a look. going on right there Lauren Ridloff welcome to GMA thank you for joining us this morning oh well thank you I'm so excited to be here and having a conversation with you we're excited to have you I know it's your first first time ever on Good Morning America yes exactly I have to say it's so nice to be back home in New York City I live here and so it's such a so fabulous to be here with you and to talk about the Eternals it's great and your character Makari is also making history the first deaf superhero in a Marvel's movie. Tell us what this role means to you. Well, this role means to me, I'm still actually processing it. I just now on the way here, um, we passed, you know, we were going through Times Square and I saw the trailer and it just happened to be that exact same scene we just saw. And let's just say, I had to have some retouches on my makeup. <laughs> I uh, When it's 40 pretty, feet high. <laughs> exactly, it's massive. And so, it was really overwhelming at the time, so overwhelming. And at first, when I started to realize the impact that this film is gonna have, I started to think, you know, I'm just overwhelmed. How do I represent the deaf community? And how do I represent deaf and hard of hearing people? How do I represent black and Mexican community? I mean, can I do it? And then I realized at that moment, the best way that I could actually do is just tell my own story and hope that that story, you know, out, putting that out there, people will be able to connect to whether they're deaf, hard of hearing, black, Mexican, women, whatever it might be. And it's such an honor to be a part of a film like this, where there's 10 of us and, you know, and we're so diverse. And I think that a lot of people will feel seen. You're carrying so much on your shoulders with such a big smile on your face. And, and I was reading this morning about uh, a concept I never heard of before that you help teach your cast members. It's called deaf gain. Explain what that is. Oh, most definitely. Well, I'm so happy that that word is actually out there in the mainstream. Deaf gain means basically at times where it's just a benefit of being deaf. It's not always a challenge and it's not, sometimes it can be helpful. You know, for example, like the scene you just saw, it made me think about the time we actually were getting ready to shoot that scene, the fight scene. And the assistant director had to hand out earplugs for everybody because the director wanted to make that boom, the sonic boom, when I actually made that impact really loud. And the AD came up to me with earplugs and I was like, no, I don't need them. That's a perfect moment of deaf gain. Not bad at all. And you also have a lot of speed in this movie. How'd yes. you train? Well, I've always been a runner. I've been a runner for many years. And it's really funny because when I started training for this film, the first thing they told me to do was stop running. I was like, wait, wait, what? seriously? Stop running. But, you know, I'm playing a runner, a speedster. So instead, they wanted me to focus a lot on my core work. Because in my running, I literally, you see what I'm doing there. It's all in, in wire work. So I'm attached to wire. So I had to definitely work on my core. And I looked at videos of speed skaters and Olympic sprinters and to emulate their form and their attitude. Turned out pretty great. Thank you so much for coming on GMA this morning. Well, thank you. It's been a pleasure having the conversation with you, George. It has and been. don't forget to watch the movie. I will not forget that. It turns will be in theaters on Friday. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.